Okay, today's video has to do everything with this guy right here, your thumb. You get it wrong, you'd be in huge trouble. Let's dive in. When it comes to the golf swing, I love the grip and all the little idiosyncrasies and differences we can have in our grip, but there are things, although we're each different and unique, there are things we should do and there are things we should never do when it comes to the grip and this is one of them. So with your left hand, let's assume all the other stuff is correct. There's so much going on. We want to keep it simple though. Okay. So our thumb, you can either have a short thumb like so, or a long thumb like this. I see people make the mistake of going long thumb. Long thumb is no good. Here's why. Once you go long thumb, you automatically start squeezing tighter in your hand. It's just something that happens. You try it, put your grip on the hand and go long and you'll find you're squeezing tighter right in here. So you're going to just have a lot less club head speed. You're going to lose a lot more shots to the right by, stretching that thumb out because the rest of your hand is so tight and you have all this tension then building up in your left forearm all through your body and you're not going to be able to really get any club head speed any consistency 144 with a six iron that is no good so what do we do with our thumb how do we make it where it should be here's what we want to do once you grip, if you pull that thumb back, all of a sudden you're releasing tension in your forearm, right like that. Pull it back right there. Boom. Now, if you're gripping incorrectly front pad or front pad or back pad, it's uh, going to mess up your thumb as well. So I have a video for that on the grip as well. So be sure to click over here and watch that after this video so you can get the pads right, but assuming you're on the correct pad and everything's good, then what you want to do is pull that thumb in. And when you pull that thumb in, you can see my arm, look at my arm, just relax in here. All the tension leaves my arm right there. When I stretch it out, everything gets tight. Boom, relax. And that's what we want. So now that it's in that left hand and everything's relaxed, notice again, when I stretch out the thumb, this shoulder will point to the right. That could be a big problem in your game also is incorrect shoulder aim. A lot of it has to do with the grip. This is where your aim begins, believe it or not, is your grip. So pull that thumb back and it just loosens everything up. Then you can relax those hands. Then you can put your right hand on. Hopefully you got that right. There's a whole nother video on right hand. I'll link it up here too for you if you want that one, all right? But let's get that left thumb pull back. Just relaxes everything and then you can Drop that right hand in right where it should be. And hopefully, well, at least now you have a better opportunity to make a great swing and put a good strike on the ball. That's what we want is opportunity. Much better, a little 177 carry with the six iron. And it all has to do with this guy right there. Also with the short and long thumb, okay? On the top of the backswing. Long thumb, you would think that gives you more stability, but it doesn't. It actually creates more havoc and instability at the top of your golf swing because that's going to wiggle around. You pull that thumb back, now you actually have that club secure because you're securing the club with your thumb and your index finger of your left hand. And if this is here and this is way down here, they're not communicating with each other, but you get that thumb short now they're pinched together this is what you want this is controlling the club right there this little guy right here but if you're out here the thumb pad cannot communicate with the finger pad they're like hello where are you you're too far away i can't i can't hear you i can't communicate with you but now now they're like oh there you are you're my friend thank you very much for showing up and then when you have proper communication here you can have 
better contact, better impact, better communication with the ball down there. And better communication here transfers to here and it works its way all the way down, right to there, whoosh, into there, better scores, better happiness, more peace, better game. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Love you. See you next video.